mpango wa kando wa yeyote uenda ukakosa urithi wa wote baada ya mwanamume huyo kufariki endapo msoda wake mbunge wa Homa Bay mjini Peter Kaluma kuhusiana na urithi utapita bungeni kulingana na msoda wake Kaluma ni kuwa mswada huo unaangazia kuwapa urithi wanawake halali na ambao wameolewa sawa na watoto ukilenga kusaidia familia baada ya mume kufariki mwanabari wetu wa masuala ya kisiasa Elizabeth Mutuku anavalia njuga taarifa hiyo Wakati mwanamume anapofariki na haswa matajiri imekuwa kama kawaida wanawake wengine kujitokeza na kudai kuwa wamekuwa na uhusiano wa kimapenzi huku wengine wakidai kuwa na watoto na mwenda zake madai haya huwa yanasingiziwa na nia ya kupata urithi wa waliofariki lakini huenda tabia hii ambayo wengi wanasema kuwa ni huhuni ikakoma endapo mswada unaodhaminiwa na mbunge wa Homa Bay mjini Pita Kaluma utapitishwa bungeni Kulingana na mswada wake Kaluma ni wanawake halali au mabibi waliohalalishwa kwa mjibu wa sheria za ndoa watakao tambuliwa na kukabidhiwa urithi endapo mme amefariki. And that is why I'm also proposing amendment to the definition of spouse. And what I'm speaker what I've proposed there before I say much about the motivation is that a spouse shall mean husband or a wife or wives as recognized under the marriage act madam speaker we passed the new marriage act in the last parliament and and essentially we have not brought the law of succession act to be attuned to it mswada huu kizua mdahalo mkali katika mitandao ya kijamii wengi wakishangaa endapo mswada huu unawalenga kuwa faidi wa bunge na wachache katika jamii kizingatiwa kufichuliwa kwa familia za mipango ya kando au mtala pindi wanapofariki while you are wife the widowed is mourning you and burying you the person who is not qualified at all in fact possibly a girlfriend who was infringing on your family is busy petitioning in another court you know elsewhere and a person who was hiding with you away from your family now petitions and then because of the current broad definitions of wife under the act which i'm replacing with spouse they get entitled and they they, they disinherit the, the 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 family this is something that will be cleansed visa vya aina hii vimeshuhudiwa zaidi katika familia za marehemu waliokuwa wabunge ama watu wenye hadhi serikalini na vile vile mabwenyenye hivi majuzi tukishuhudia familia zilizojitokeza baada ya kufariki kwa mbunge wa Kibra Keno Kod mwenda zake mzee Nyechai aliyekuwa mbunge wa Matungu Justus Murunga miongoni mwa wengi humu nchini ida kisiwa kuwa huenda wabunge wengi wakaunga mkono mswada huu bungeni kwa ni familia nyingi za wenzao waliofariki zimejipata katika kizungumkuti anachojaribu kutegua Kaluma People want to reap where they never saw Madam Speaker And that's why it is important that this amendment brings some clarity. So in the event that the deceased person is gone, there must be proper protection of the spouses, proper protection of the children, the legitimate people, Madam Speaker, who are supposed to be the benefits. Because we've seen in many cases, Madam Speaker, somebody has died, has left property, the children have been chased away from school just because the matter is in court, it has delayed. Msoda huu wa Kaluma vile vile unalenga kuwapa urithi wanaume endapo mwanamke amefariki kinyume na ilivyo kwa sasa katika sheria za urithi nchini. What we seek to achieve. Madam Speaker, a look at the current section 29 indicates that husbands where your wife dies are not entitled to seek inheritance of their wife's estate unless they can go to court and prove that the wife was maintaining them lakini je wake nyao wanasema nini kuhusiana na hili kama ni watoto ni wake kama sio wa kuwekelewa inafaa aweze ku wale watoto waweze kupatiwa haki yako kama mtu amejitokeza ni vizuri lazima apatiwe haki yake so an example kama mimi ni side chick Hey, lazima watoto wangu wajulikane na lazima watoto wachukua waweze kumiliki mali. So kujitokezea si mbaya kwa sababu wengine wao kwa ngi wanajua kama this guy is married or the, or the mtu wako na familia na kuja tu hivyo anafikiria she's the only one and then after sometimes anakuja kujua kumbe tuko wengi. So I think 
They have the right to demand for the, the property. Elizabeth Mutuko, TV 47 Nairobi.